All right, guys, so at this stage, you have now created your Google Drawings, which is going to be the room with embedded links. You have all of your links that will be embedded in your Google Drawing. And you also have your Google Form, which is your locks and your answer key for students. And now it's time for us to put it into one place. And we're going to do that using Google Sites. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a Google Site. So again, we just right click and we go to here, more Google Sites. So we will create a Google site here. Remember to title it. So this would be escape room Nissan or whatever it is that you would like to do. And here you can really have some fun. So here are some themes that you can use. So for example, you could use this theme if you like, if this color is up to you. What's also really nice is you can insert images. Again, you can either upload an image or you can select one from the internet um, by doing a Google image search. So for example, you could do Google escape or anything like that and you can insert it into here. So for example, here you would change this here to be any kind of a background that you would like to be. I like to now insert a text box. So just insert text box here. And this is where I would give my instructions again. And this is also where I would introduce the theme of my escape room to my students. So my students have just recently gone back to school and they're having a really difficult time kind of adjusting to everything and coming back and having to kind of really do the um, to school again. So I created an escape room for them um, that was really just kind of designed to be a bit of a brain break. And so here I have, uh, let me out, and here I have just some instructions for the students with regards to what it is that they will be seeing. So that is what I would be including here. Now you would like to include your actual room the room that has all of your links embedded and so on. And that we would do it by going to Drive. And here from Drive, we can go into the folder where we had everything saved, um, our Google Drawing saved. And that is what we would then be using as our picture here. So for me, I'm going into, oh no, go back into Escape Rooms. And here I have my escape room. So I bring it in here. So insert. Now my picture will be here. I can move it to be, to be as big as this. So what you would do is you can kind of stretch it out here using the guidelines. You can also make it a little bit bigger as you, if you want. So really just play around with the site a little bit and find what works best for you. So this is a good size, I think, for me and for my students. So again, they would have the title page, which here would be Let Me Out. They have their instructions and then we have the classroom included. Next, I would insert my Google Form. So again, we would go to insert here, go to Drive and then go to where you have your Google Form. So here I have included my Google Form. Again, I stretched it out a little bit so that it was in line here with the Google image. So again, you can do that. Something that's really cool about Google Site is you can, because you can kind of change how big everything is, if it's a smaller room, it's not as wide as this, you can actually have your form next to your picture. It really is up to you. So just play around a little bit and see what works best. And students will here have all of their answers, which we have locked, which means that if students would give a wrong answer, they would not be able to move on and it would come up as red. So the most important thing for you to remember is to check that everything works. So you can actually preview your site here and see what people will see or what the students will see. So this is how students will see this here. I have included a image here, as you can see from a Google image with my title. I have my ants, my clues here, my introduction, and here seven clues and answers. Here is my picture with my embedded links. As you can see, once you go over a link, the little mouse changes. So nothing linked, linked, nothing linked, linked. And here I have seven clues. Five of the clues are quite basic. And then I have two little hidden clues for the students here. If they click on it, 
it will take them straight to the clue and they will then go through this and find which answer it could possibly be and enter the answer here. So for example, here, students have to look at the GIFs and then they have to try and figure out which each GIF represents. So this one is try to be the rainbow in someone's clouds. They can then use Google and the answer for this one is actually the author of the quote. So the author of that quote is Maya Angelou. So if they go in here, they can write in all caps, Maya Angelou. Oh. And they would be able to move on to the next clue. Okay, remember, because we have linked, uh, limited their responses, if they do not do this correctly, they will not be able to go to next. So if I say next here, you can see the students can actually not move on until they have the correct answer.